Good morning, folks. Looks like you all caught last night's solar micronova video. Felt good to get that one out. Today we're looking at the sun, confirming the CME forecast we made yesterday, and we've got two excellent studies to hit as well. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where there were two interesting active regions, and they likely have more coming. There have been more than a few M-class solar flares the last few days, and the two sunspot groups closest to center disk are poised to produce some more today. If you recall, yesterday morning we identified the filament collapse on the north as having produced a CME that was faint and below average density, but which was likely aimed at Earth. This morning, the NOAA Enlil spiral tells us that forecast was correct. They have impacts slated for August 1st, but I wouldn't be shocked if it impacted tomorrow instead, on the 31st. We'll be eyes open for that. And for more from the sunspots, as we mentioned, it's those two closest to dead center on our watch list. We'll take a look at the southern active region first and then the north. The southern region is beta delta class with potential magnetic mixing along the polarity proximity near the trailing large positive blue umbra. Meanwhile, the northern group is also beta delta with similar mixing potential near the trailing red negative large umbra. I would expect more M-class solar flare activity today, and that is indeed the top watch over the next 24 hours as there are no major plasma filaments facing Earth. Over the following days, it'll be the incoming sunspots we'll have to keep watching a bit more closely. Top stories today begin with an excellent one on how the sun is responsible for extreme temperatures in China. Through increased radiation and a coupling with the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, our star drives the largest spike in heat over the long term. Lastly, an excellent study on radiation bombardment during geomagnetic excursions. They studied Le Champ, the Greenland Sea event, and Mono Lake in this one, showing how some are worse than others. In Le Champ, the level of space radiation impacting Earth's atmosphere doubled, which is a titanic amount, and certainly would have contributed to the species impact during that event. And of course, the next excursion is already underway. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below the video in the description box. Solar Watch remains high. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.